I can't believe it's fall again, guys. It's fall again. The leaves are changing to yellow and red from green. So that makes you think, it's not summer anymore. So it's time to take stock of what I accomplished with the summer skate bucket list. The video, I made a summer skate bucket list. I made, I think in May, I can't remember. I made it in spring before the summer started and I read out the items that I wanted to accomplish during the summer. I made it so I could have a coming of age movie, so I could make my life more exciting and so I could learn to live in the moment. And so let's take stock of how many items we've crossed out so far. Let's see if I failed or if I succeeded in accomplishing what I wanted to accomplish with the summer skate bucket list. I visited lots of new skate parks this summer, which was so much fun, and I can't wait to keep skating new skate parks. I went to the water park, which is super fun, amusement park. It's just been a lot of adventures. I went to a skate park in the city, which was awesome, and I went on a picnic and I skated, and my grandma was there, which was really fun. I went hiking. I visited new street spots. I finished Attack on Titan. I played a Pokemon game. I haven't actually finished that game yet. The objective was just more to play the game rather than complete it in one summer, so I accomplished that and I improved my skate fashion. I'm working towards it still, but I took many steps towards getting better skate fashion during this summer. Follow me on TikTok, because TikTok is kind of where I'm showing my new outfits that I make and exploring my fashion more there, but yeah. So what did I not do? What are the items that I didn't complete on the summer skate bucket list? Well, I didn't really make more skater friends. I'm obviously gonna continue working towards making skate friends, but I didn't really make, like, I didn't really make a new skate friend per se. So I didn't really, I did work towards talking to more skaters to make friends, but I didn't actually like make any new skate friends. So that I didn't accomplish. I also didn't make a YouTube video in a foreign country. One of the goals was to make a video in a foreign country. But I never ended up doing that, so yeah, I didn't. The other thing I wanted to do was make another video part, another video skate part, but I never got around to that, so I'll probably be doing that in fall or next spring or summer, depending on when I get to do it. I also didn't redo my bedroom. My room has looked like that since I've moved here, so I wanted to redo it, but I didn't get around to that either. One, two, three, four. That's four items I didn't complete on the summer skate bucket list but I got like the rest of them and there was like 13 items. So I think that's pretty good, honestly. But the summer skate bucket list wasn't just about like completing so many items and like just doing fun stuff. Like there was an underlying reason for it. It was because I wanted to make my life like a coming of age movie, but like the main thing about coming of age movies is that there's friends involved. I don't have that many friends. And so I was like, well, how can I do these fun coming of age things without friends? And so I thought, you know, I watched a lot of videos and they always say, do fun things but by yourself so that you can learn to enjoy being by yourself. And I think that is what the Summer Skate Bucket List taught me. I can enjoy the things that I wanna do without friends. And I think that's like the biggest accomplishment of the Summer Skate Bucket List is learning to do stuff that's fun but by myself and really helped me to live in the moment and to not dwell on having not that many friends. Like. I think I've become happier because of that. So I wanted my life to be fun and I wanted to be able to enjoy life without friends. And I think I succeeded. Even though the summer is over, these last four items that I didn't complete on the summer skate bucket list, we're still gonna try and complete them. We're still gonna try and continue to do fun stuff in life, obviously. For my YouTube videos, we're gonna continue doing fun things just because why not? And so, yeah, it doesn't end with the summer skate bucket list. And so I'm gonna continue trying to cross off the items that I didn't accomplish in the summer. I'm still gonna to work towards finishing the summer skate bucket list and just working towards making life exciting every day. We're gonna continue trying to do fun side quests and just fun stuff to get that dad lore, I guess, or get lore. <laughs> so I don't think I failed the summer skate bucket list. I think I learned a lot from that challenge. I've learned to live in the moment and to be happy now and not wait for happiness. I can be happy now and you can be happy now. You just have to work towards it and 
and cultivate happiness from within, not from anything external. Even though crossing off items on the Summer Skate bucket list is a very external thing, but on the inside it was transforming me and it was and I was reflecting on those external things that I did to find the inner happiness. Life keeps going on, just like a roller coaster. You never know what's gonna happen next. So you just gotta be happy now and see what happens. It's been an awesome summer. We're gonna try to enjoy fall and we're gonna try to make winter as less depressing as possible and just try to enjoy every season and try to just continue enjoying life. Let's keep enjoying life, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.